James Connolly, Irish Revolutionary and Socialist, 1868-1916 James Connolly was an Irish revolutionary and socialist thinker who lived on the Falls Road from 1910 to 1914. Born in Edinburgh in 1868 to Irish parents, he started work at the age of 11 as a street cleaner and later joined the British Army, but deserted while stationed in Dublin in 1889. He married Lily Reynolds, an Irish girl, in 1890 and returned to Edinburgh where he was active in the socialist movement. Self-taught and a keen reader, he was deeply influenced by the Irish separatist John Mitchell, the Young Irelander, and Karl Marx, the father of communism. On his return to Dublin, Connolly founded the Irish Socialist Republican Party in 1896 and later launched a weekly newspaper called The Workers' Republic. As a socialist organiser in America between 1903 and 1910, he helped form the International Workers of the World, the Wobblies. Returning to Ireland as home rule seemed inevitable, he joined the Socialist Party of Ireland and continued to support international socialism. Among his published writings, labour in Irish history enhanced his reputation. Connolly moved to Belfast as the area organiser of the Irish Transport and General Workers' Union and fought for the Dockers and Mill Girls. In 1913, he played a leading role in organising the Dublin workers during the Great Lockout of 1913, helping to form the Irish Citizen Army as a workers' defence force, which he armed and drilled. The outbreak of the First World War dashed his faith in the international socialist movement, and he began to plan an uprising for an Irish Republic, in 1916 joining the Revolutionary Military Council of the Irish Republican Brotherhood, the IRB. As one of the leaders during the 1916 Easter Rising, he was deputy to Revolutionary Commander Patrick Pearce, and although wounded, he remained at his post until compelled to surrender by superior forces. Sentenced to death by a British military tribunal, Connolly was executed by firing squad in Kilmainham Jail, Dublin, in May 1916. Because of his gangrenous ankle, he had to be strapped to a chair during his execution. He was finally laid to rest at Arbor Hill Cemetery in Dublin. Connolly Station in Dublin is named after him and many songs have been written in his memory. In 1966, a plaque commemorating his residence in Belfast was unveiled by his son Roddy Connolly and the then West Belfast MP Jerry Fitt. In recent times, a biographical plaque was unveiled by the Lord Mayor of Belfast, Tom Hartley, and President of Irish Congress of Trade Unions, Patricia McCune.